Dear all, this video discusses how to find solution of wave equations in rectangular waveguides and also the equations for TE modes in rectangular waveguides. So the general equation or the wave equation is given by dou square etz by dou x square plus dou square etz by dou y square plus h square hz is equal to 0. Here the magnetic field which is a function of x, y, z coordinate can be written as magnitude and phase component. So hz which is a function of x, y into the phase component minus j beta z. And here the Magnitude component H z of x y can be written as as a function of x component and y component. So here x of x is a function of this is a function of x coordinate only and y of y is a function of y coordinate only. So if you substitute this H z equation into this equation this can be written as y into d square x by dx square plus x into d square y by dy square plus h square x y is equal to 0. That is instead of h it has been substituted as x y. So for simply Find the equation or to reduce the complication we have written it just as x and y instead of writing x of x into y of y. Now dividing this entire equation by x y this can be written as 1 by x into d square x by dx square plus 1 by y into d square y by dy square plus h square equal to 0. So let this be equation 3. Now let us consider 1 by x into d square x by dx square is equal to a constant minus kx square and 1 by y into d square y by dy square is equal to minus ky square. So substituting these two equations in equation 3 this can be written as minus kx square minus ky square plus h square is equal to 0 or h is equal to root of kx square plus ky square. So this equation is called as Cut off wave number of waveguides. So the above equation can be written as d square x by dx square plus kx square into x is equal to 0 and d square y by dy square plus ky square into y is equal to 0. So let this be equation 5 and 6. So here equation 5 and 6 are ordinary second order differential equations. So ordinary second order differential equations the general solutions can be written as hz of xy is equal to general solution we can consider any constant. So a into cos x cos into kxy plus b into sin kxx into c cos kyy plus d into sin kyy. So this is the general equation for the magnetic field of a rectangular waveguide. Now in order to find the 
T mode in rectangular waveguide, this equation has to be considered. So this is just the magnitude. So in order to find out the T mode, T modes in rectangular waveguide, So the magnetic field equation can be written as general equation is A into cos Kxx plus D into sin Kxx into C cos Kyy plus D sin Kyy into E raised to minus J beta Z. So the first step in applying or finding out TE modes is, so TE means it stands for transverse electric field. So that means if you consider a rectangular waveguide, the electric field will be in the transverse direction, perpendicular to the rectangular waveguide. So in order to find out the equation, first boundary conditions has to be applied. So again considering rectangular waveguides, placed in the rectangular coordinate system. So this will be y equal to b considering waveguide breadth and width x equal to 0 and x equal to a. This will be y. So this is the rectangular coordinate system. So in order to apply the boundary condition, so when you consider the rectangular waveguide, EX component that is electric field in X direction will vanish all along all along bottom and top walls and I here it will be vanishing as the field will be in the perpendicular direction which is all along left and right side walls of the waveguide. So this can be written in as a for equation as EX is equal to Ex will be equal to 0 at y equal to 0 and b. Similarly, Ey will be equal to 0 at x equal to 0 and a. That is, Ex means the field will be only in this direction that is in the x direction. So whatever in the y direction it will be equal to 0. So that's why we have written it as Ex is equal to 0 at y equal to 0 by b. And similarly y field will be 0 in the x direction. So at x equal to 0 and a. So this condition has to be applied to the equations of the rectangular waveguide. So first considering EX equation, EX is equal to minus gamma by H square into dou EZ by dou X minus J omega mu by H square into dou HZ by dou Y. So here EZ component is equal to 0. That means dou HZ by dou Y will be equal to a into cos kxx plus b into sin kxx into minus c so differentiating the above equation minus c into ky into sin kyy plus ky into d cos ky y so now ex can be written as minus j omega mu by h square this component will be equal to 0 into h square into ky component is there into a into cos kxx plus b into sin kxx into what is remaining is minus c into sin kyy plus d into cos of kyy so now applying the boundary condition that is first condition is ex is equal to 0 at ex is equal to 0 at 
y equal to 0 comma b. So if ex is equal to 0 at y equal to 0 comma b, so if you see the equation y equal to 0 means, so in this condition d will be equal to 0 and ky will be multiple of n pi. So here b into ky it is, so this becomes n pi by b for n e 1. So now next equation is EY equation. So EY is given as minus gamma by h square into dou EZ by dou Y plus J omega mu by h square into dou HZ by dou X. So applying the condition EZ is already equal to 0. So dou HZ by dou X will be equal to KX into minus a sign differentiating kx into x plus b cos kx into x into c cos ky into y plus d sin ky into y. So now again applying the boundary condition that is ey is equal to 0 at x equal to 0 comma a this is possible that is if you consider hz equation so if you apply this condition into the equation so that means that x equal to 0 comma a x equal to 0 means x is equal to 0 means that means that is possible only if b should be equal to 0 and kx kx value should be a multiple of pi that is b equal to 0 and kx so let us consider it as m pi so a into kx it will be so divided by a for m equal to 0 1 2 so substituting all these values of kx ky a and bd into the equation equation at z can be written as a into c into cos of m pi by a into x into cos of n pi by b into y e raised to minus j beta z so writing it as and the equation h of z constant term into cos of m pi by a x into cos of n pi by b into y into a raised to minus j beta z here h of z is the amplitude constant now writing the next equation that is ex ex is equal to minus gamma by h square into dou e z by dou x minus j omega mu by h square into dou hz by dou y so ez is equal to 0 so ex will be equal to minus j omega mu by h square into n pi by b into the constant so the remaining terms of m pi by a into x sine of n pi by b into y e raised to minus j beta z so again the constant term can be written as e o x into cos of m pi by a x into sine of n pi by b y into e raised to minus j beta z now next term is e y so ey is equal to minus gamma by h square dou ez by dou y plus j omega mu by h square into dou hz by dou x again ez is equal to 0 
So this can be written as minus j omega mu by h square into h of z substituting h z into m pi by a into sine of m pi by a into x into cos of n pi by b into y into e raised to minus j beta z. So again a constant term can be written as e o y into sine of m pi by a into x cos of n pi by b into y e raised to minus j beta z. Now next component is hx. So hx will be equal to minus gamma by h square into dou xz by dou x plus j omega epsilon by h square into dou ez by dou y. Again ez is equal to 0. So this will be equal to gamma by h square into h of z m pi by a into sin of m pi by a into x cos of n pi by b into y into e raised to minus j beta z. So this would be equal to h of z into sin of m pi by a into x cos of n pi by b into y into e raised to minus j beta z. Now next component is hy. hy can be written as minus gamma by h square into dou h z into dou y minus j omega epsilon by h square into dou e z by dou x. This can be written as gamma by h square into h of z cos of m pi by a into x into differentiating n pi by b into sine of n pi by b into y into e raised to minus j beta z. So this can be written as h of y into cos of m pi by a into x into sine of n pi by b into y into e raised to minus j beta z. So these are the final equations for TE modes of a rectangular wavedrive. So do like, share and subscribe to the channel for latest updates.